流れがあるっていうかね水が変わるところでないと本当のたまり水にはいないっていうか。para llamar en la frente. Ah, no. これがだからあの7月頃ね。たらあのこの高さに水があるからすごい面積になって見えるから陸なんて一つも見えしない、うん、でそういう時にこんなとこで迷ったら出てこれないわあ,あキツツキだそこその木にキツツキがいる小さいけどもあの上の方言われてるかもしれない I'm going to give them a general information about para que vosotros se enteren bien. Voy a hablar brevemente en inglés con ellos. Si te interesa, pues, pero voy a hablar con otros españoles también para que te enteren bien. So, guys, where are we now? Yeah. Actually, we call the difference is between Amazonas and Amazonia. Yeah. I was explained this morning. We are in one of the big states of Amazonia, which is Manaus, the capital of the state of the Amazonas. Yeah. How big whole region where we now? If you think, how big is the Amazonas? One and a half million square kilometers, that's whole area. Think from this one and a half million square kilometers, think about from January until June, when the water rises up, actually 25 meters, 53% are completely out of the water. Why the trees here, for example, you can see the trees so very small, very thin, why that? Because all the humus, as you can see, leaves, fruits, seeds fall into the ground and decompose to make the famous humus. What happens is once the water rises up, wash everything away. So the trees in the area we call secondary rainforest. Trees from 50, can be 70, probably 100 year old. But they don't grow bigger than that because the soil are washing every year. That's the reason why the water from the Negro is black. You can spend a month you can see, no mosquitoes. Different from the Amazonas. Amazonas, the water is brown, muddy. Mosquitoes, malaria, yellow fever are twice as much at the Amazonas, not in the Negro. Even here, for example, who plants all those trees? For example, if you take a look over here, around us here, you can see one or oh, maybe three or four different kinds of a trees. Why? Fish, when the water is high. Fruits, seeds, mm. fall into the water, get eat by fish. Fish spend like two or three days at the same place. Yeah, two or three days at the same place, eat and digest. And how the trees grows? Not the factories and the wood companies, not the indigenous people, only 
the fish. Tonight, we're going to have one of the very nice fish from the Negro. For us, the best fish <coughs> comes from the Negro. Fish with the scales. Why? Fish from the Negro, we call them vegetarian fish because they only eat fruits, nuts, leaves, and seeds. We call them vegetarian fish. It's one of the best, right? Even the Negro, 31 different kind of the famous piranha fish. All of them is eatable. I'm going to take you guys tomorrow afternoon. We're going for fishing. If we catch them, we can eat them. It's very good fish. It's, otherwise, if you don't eat them, they eat you. <laughs> so we prefer to eat them, right? So what happened is, what we see now, today, we're going to see different tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to see trees from two, three, four, five, six hundred years old. Very high trees. Why? That's what we call mainland. They'll never get, they'll never get water out there. Never. And that's why the soil is more rich. What happened here? Wash every six months. Every six months of the year, everything are washing away. When am I going to take you guys tomorrow? No. Right? Sometimes, sailing on, the, on, on this area where we now, right side of the river, is army reserve. For us, not for indigenous people, but for every Brazilian people, it's, they, are, they have to do, is by law, we have to do one year as an army service, yeah, from 18 to 19 years old. When you do the, this one year old, you come here, for 10 days, survival training in the Amazon rainforest. Survive for 10 days. Just with a machete, long pants, same shoes. For 10 days, you have to survive in the forest. And also a lot of army from the United States, from Israel, from Spain, from Italy, from many countries came to have a training with us to go, unfortunately, to do those disgusting war which people have around the world. But they most of them come to have a training with our Brazilian army in the Amazon. Hmm. So the reason, you know, temperature of the water, you can put your hand on the water on the top, 27, 28, yeah, a little warm. If you go a little bit down, one meter down, it goes to about 22 degrees, 20 degrees, yeah. You can feel tonight, Manaus, we are three degrees south of the equator, and we only have two seasons. January, June, rainy, July into December, it's like that, summer. Sometimes we, we do have very bad rain storms during this time, but it's not usual. But as long as we have this cut down the forest, a lot of companies have been changed, so also the temperature, also the climate for us, it has been changed, right? Unfortunately, we can't do much about, unfortunately, but... What the fish do for us, they do at least, they replant at least 10% of the fruits of the trees are chopping down. The fish do replant for us, right? So, and the right side of the river is uh, also indigenous. We can see, we're gonna pass in front of them. We're not gonna stop, but we can see them. We call them, of the area over here, we call muras. We are 43 43 different tribes in the region. 43 different tribes, that's me, 43 different languages. Myself, I speak Inyangatu, my mother language, which I come from Munduruku, indigenous. Munduruku, 600 kilometers east of the Amazonas, from a branch of the Amazonas River, which we call Madeira. That's where I was born and grew up there. And I was adopted when I was five years. So that's another, another thing. And uh, I come to study my house. I am a count. I was 15 years in the factories, and uh, I was seven years in Sony, eight years in Samsung. So I changed my job for the last 14 years. So I learned English, Italian, Spanish, French, German, and uh, Italian with books, <laughs> right? So, but in those indigenous reserves, that's not means it's actually a reserve. Unfortunately, we can stop those huge companies from America, from China, from many different countries, 
we can stop them. Because who gives permission to them is our government. The land belongs to the government. And that's the thing is, people don't think about preserve. You know, for example, where I come from, uh, for the last 10 years, every time I, I'm, I remember the problem we have is with the mercury. The mercury are used by a big German company. The mercury goes into the water because they use, they use the, those mercury. Mercury, they use to separate the gems, to separate the gold. And the mercury is into the water, goes into the fish. And the women, when they're pregnant, they have, the fish, they, can, they have to eat the fish from the river. And they have to drink the water from the river. Unfortunately, when the children are born, they're born with, without the hand, without the arm, without the leg, because there's too much mercury. Dem them to the river. So unfortunately, it's hard, I mean, for us to stop. Because some of the people who try to preserve, try to, I mean, try to stop the lumber companies, unfortunately, they have to be stopped. Like Chico Mendes, Haoni, and many others. Unfortunately, it's not interesting for our Brazilian government. Interesting for the government is money. Right? So we have so many resources, why chopping down the forest? So we have gold, petrol, many different things, but why cut the forest? And this is very bad. Which is, in Manaus last year, we have a very, very hot summer, which we never had that before. 48 degrees centigrade. Y lo que pasa es que, oye, por ejemplo, cuando vivimos nosotros, no quiere decir que la tierra es nuestra. La tierra es del gobierno. O sea, los permisos que dan que da los gobiernos, por ejemplo, para las fábricas, son las fábricas, por ejemplo, que están hoy cargando la mayoría de la selva amazónica. Imaginen vosotros 5 millones y medio de kilómetros cuadrados, 18% en los últimos 10 años se le han cargado ya. No, menos mal, como había dicho, aquí tenemos dos o tres, cuatro plantas de árboles, aquí donde estamos nosotros ahora. Entonces, puede imaginar aquí en plantas de los árboles, son los, los peces de río. Por ejemplo, 500 clases de peces se encuentran en el río Negro. Esas 500 clases, pues 49% son pescado de escamas, pescado que se alimenta básicamente.